Good afternoon, I'm David Scott. Austin City planners checking out exactly what they'll be asking taxpayers to pay for if they put urban rail on the November 2012 ballot. They are touring an Ameritram rail car this afternoon. It's on display right across from the convention center in Brush Square Park. That's right now. And that's where Reagan Hackelman joins us with more on the future of urban rail in Austin. Reagan? Well, hey there, David. One day we could see an urban rail car very much like this when going through the streets of downtown. Now, this car is made by a company called Kinky Shario. They've built systems for Seattle, Phoenix, Dallas, and Dubai. Now, this car is called the Ameritram. It's an electric car with a low floor boarding. Basically, that means it's a little higher right now, but basically that means you can go directly from the curb and walk directly into the car. So let's go ahead and come into this car and we're going to give you a little example of what this car looks like. Now the car is an electric car, can hold up to 115 passengers and has a maximum speed of 50 miles per hour. According to the city's transportation director, one big plus about this urban rail car is the fact that it can easily maneuver around Austin's pre-existing streets, especially in the downtown area. And that is very important because the big focus of urban rail in Austin will be getting people to and from the areas of town where the majority of people work. Now those areas are of course downtown, the capital area, and the University of Texas. One of the things we think is important for citizens is to really get a feel for what this is, in a sense kick the tires and just understand that we're talking about something that really does fit in the environment. Now, the total cost for this system would be about $1.2 billion, but that's for the entire system that would go from the airport to downtown to the University of Texas and to the new Miller development. The city says that they are really focusing on doing smaller sections at a time. And, of course, this will all be up to Austin voters to decide whether or not cars like this will be going around the city of Austin. The mayor says he wants to put uh, that on the ballot in November 2012, the transportation director for the city says if voters approve it, we could start seeing cars like this in Austin around the year 2018. Reporting live from downtown Austin, Reagan Hackelman, KXAN News.